What is going on guys? So today we are back out surf fishing and we are going to be using the Berkeley Gulp Sandworms, the bloody version. Usually I use the camo, but today I'm using the bloody. Um, I'm, uh, you know, kind of hoping that the fish would see the bright red bloody color th then uh, more clearly than the camo version. So, uh... Let's see what we can get today, hoping to land some perch, but uh, I'm happy with anything, so let's get it. We're hooked up, we're hooked up. Oh, did he get off? Did he get off? No, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yep, he's still there. Got ourselves a small jack smelt. Oh, no. Never mind. It's not small at all. We got ourselves a big jack smell. Woo, look at that. Yeah. First fish of the day, jack smell. Made it back in the water. That jack smelt was only like probably 15 to 20 yards away from me, so it wasn't too far, which is nice. Had a couple bites, but uh, it's kind of it. Been here about 30 minutes. So far, caught one jack smelt, had about maybe two, three bites after that jack smelt. Oh, it is just absolutely beautiful outside. It's a little, it's, it's pretty chilly, but it's beautiful. I think I got here about 6.30 in the morning. And I was surprised of how many people were already out here. It is surprisingly calm out there. I've never seen it this calm before. For my setup, I got on a high-low rig. Um, I'm using 30-pound braid with uh, for with my gulp sandworms. I'm using 12-pound monofilament leaders. So 30-pound uh, braid on my reel, 12-pound monofilament for my leaders. Using my uh, Sentinel nine-foot medium-heavy uh, rod with a Shakespeare reel. Drop a comment down below uh, whether you prefer to use the camo gulp sandworms or the bloody sandworms. I'd like to know. Um, so far, uh, I've had more luck with the camo. Um, but since I saw these on the shelf too, you know, might as well try them. But uh, yeah, out of the two, I think so far I might, ha I might like the camo ones a lot better. Even though the bloody ones are like bright red. All right, um, I'm gonna try to using live bait. And I don't have my net, so I gotta dig for it. There's one. There's another. Sand crabs. I got about 10 more minutes and I gotta head home.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for us today. Um, I'm going to cast probably a couple more while I'm walking. But uh, like I said before, let me know. Uh, drop a comment down below. What would you prefer? I'm probably um, whether it's the bloody or the camo uh, gulp sandworms. Um, I I think I'm not gonna buy any more bloody because they just didn't produce as well as uh, the camo ones did for me. Um, so yeah, I just caught one jack smelt. Uh, a bunch of my tails on my gulp sandworms are getting bit on, bitten off. Um, the sand, uh, sand crabs were getting eaten out. And, uh, yeah. Um, do you, I, I, I want to know your guys' opinion. Do you guys, when you guys uh, hook up sand crabs, do you start the hook through the the top of the shell or do you go underneath drop a comment down below too um just trying to try trying to new techniques and stuff uh, i don't know I, I got like i usually uh hook the sand crab from the top of the shell and then down um and then i tried uh hooking the sand crab from the bottom up uh let me know all right peace Thank you.